Hello everyone, this is step one, sketching your characters for your comic book cover. Today we're going to come up with three thumbnail sketches and you may decide to create a hero of some type or maybe you want to create a villain. Whichever you decide, uh, you want to make sure that your character is interesting or different than what we've seen in the past. Um, maybe use some of the comic books that you see around the classroom to gain inspiration and then come up with your own character. Okay, so we're going to start doing some quick thumbnail sketches to come up with who our final comic book character cover is going to be. I'm going to divide my paper up into thirds and do three quick little sketches and then I'll decide which one I like the best. So I'm gonna start off first with a hero. Maybe this will be, hmm, I don't know, the art teacher that saves the day with her magical paintbrush. Hmm, that sounds like a fun comic book. And I would just come in and quickly sketch out, you know, what I'd like to be see on this paper. It doesn't have to be perfect right now because again, this is just a sketch. Okay. So we're just kind of roughly putting our shapes in. Um, the next one, maybe I'll do a villain rather than use a figure. Maybe for this one, I use an everyday object like, I don't know, a juice box. Okay. So maybe I'll turn this juice box into an evil villain. And again, not a perfect drawing, just a quick little sketch of what I'd like this little evil juice box to look like. Not really sure what his special powers are yet, but I try to give those good action movements with his arms and his legs. And for the final one, maybe I'll do something silly or goofy, uh, more cartoon-like. Um, so maybe I'll use an animal for this one. Maybe a little, I don't know, some kind of a bird. Maybe it's turning into a duck. Sometimes I just kind of let the drawing decide what it wants to be. And mm, let's see, maybe this guy has a little top hat. We add stuff as we go. Now, if you get stuck and you can't think of an idea, there's a couple different things that you can do. You can use this little um, sheet on your table and a dice. Roll the dice. For example, I just got a one. Add an article of clothing to your character that a relative or friend is always wearing. So I have a friend who always wears um, crazy, crazy necklaces. So maybe I will add that to this little character here, for example. It's just something to help you kind of move along through the drawing. We also have a cartooning folder um, that has all kinds of stuff in it. Ideas for eyes, noses, mouths, um, finished comic book characters that you may recognize from TV. So you can just go through here and get lots of different examples um, if you get stuck. Um, another thing that you can do is just kind of take a look around the room, see what people are doing. Maybe you'll gain inspiration from a classmate. When you're done today, on the bottom right-hand corner, you're going to put your name and your class section. Okay, just like that. And then this will go in your portfolio. Thanks, guys. Good luck drawing.